time you're in any kind of business setting, it's good to know where you are, what your space is in time. And of course, you've heard the saying, timing is everything. Well, no, it's not, right? And location might matter in some things, but action is more important than timing. However, to have the right kind of timing is, is something that has a uniqueness to it because this moment in time will never happen again. So be perfectly timed is a pretty cool thing. And I'm going to show you where Life Plus is relative to the world markets, etc. And uh, don't worry, I, I am qualified to give this information. But this is really an important thing to recognize. So, so timing, this is your traditional timing curve. It's a growth curve. All industries go through this kind of curve. All companies that have any measure of success go through this kind of curve. So what does this curve really mean? Well, first let me just give you a couple little snippets. This part of the curve represents what's called the pioneering phase. This is kind of phase one in an industry, right? It takes a long time to pioneer ideas so that they are proven to have some level of credibility. People involved in the pioneering stage of an industry, it's really hard for them because everybody thinks they're stupid or crazy or both. And the ones that, that believe enough and endure enough, they're the ones that make an industry happen, like a Bill Gates kind of guy. And then you have this next level, which is essentially the early majority. These are the people that see that the industry is becoming viable and they begin to participate in a big way. The more people who participate in, in something, the more people who will participate in something. And that's just the nature of people. And, and so then as it continues on, you have what's called the later majority. That happens out here. That's kind of stage three there. Early majority and early adapters, early majority, that's stage two, stage two. And then out here is maturity, okay? Now that's, the, that's what all industries go through. So let me give you a snapshot on where we are industry-wise. So first, let's talk about wellness. Right? Wellness as an industry. It is no secret <coughs> that as a society, despite being the most advanced medical age in the, in the history of the world, we are sicker than ever. And, and you know what? Society's sick of being sick. And so what's happening is people are recognizing that they have to take responsibility. And so the wellness movement is, a, is well upon us. Because there's a lot of people like me who are 50 plus that are walking around who look a lot different than other people who are 50. And the, and the reason is simple. They've been doing the right things, taking the right kinds of products. So there's what's called self-evidency in the marketplace. So it's important to understand the wellness industry is right about here. Supplements, right? when I first started using supplements over 25 years ago, it's like, who uses vitamins, right? That, that's really the way it was, but not anymore. And it's just the beginning of this. So as an industry, it's right about here on the curve. So all of this is in front. It's only a matter of time that, it, you, that in the next 15 years, everybody will supplement. And you have two kind of two facets right now of, of the supplementing in the future group. You have the facet that doesn't even know they should right now, and so they're, they're going to be learning and participating in the next 15 years. And then you have the other facet who has been, who recognize that you really should see results from products. You really should get benefits, and they're looking for higher quality products. So the wellness industry is right here. All the growth is in front of it, and it's easy to see over the last several years doing uh, recessions worldwide in marketplaces. This industry is not recessed. It's continued to grow, and it's going to grow faster and faster and faster. Then you have the home business industry. <laughs> and make no mistake, this is an industry. Let's face it, we're in a, a massive change. And the more there's technology, the faster change will happen. Heck, the fact that I can do this in my living room with a flip cam is an example of how fast technology is changing. I could have never done this even a few years ago, especially if you know how technical I am. I really never could have done this a few years ago. So what's happening is this, this cataclysmic change is making people recognize no company's going to take care of you. It's up to you to treat your house like an economy and to find ways to derive income streams to feed that economy. That, that's the bottom line. And home businesses are growing and growing and growing. And again, just like when I first started in a home business over 20 years ago, when people were like, what are you, some kind of idiot? You, and believe me, I got called a lot worse than that. But I kind of get to laugh now, if you know what I mean. But so, so what's happening now is more and more people have home businesses. And the home business industry is right here. So over the next 15, 20 years, 
everybody will have a home business. And, and let me tell you something. If people don't get a home business, they're not paying attention. It's just the tax advantages of having a home business make you go, uh, duh, I really should have one. So, so we're in this time when they're becoming more and more key to the economics of a marketplace in general. And so you sit here and think about these two things, the home business arena and wellness, and, and what Life Plus brings. They're just, you just can't find products better than ours. And, and we're allowed people to buy them direct, which makes it very simple to refer them. Business-wise, people can start a business that they can grow as big as they want with no investment. Nothing. No risk at all and work it in their own time. That's what people need. They need fair, honest opportunities. So, this is where we sit in these two major industries. And then where's life plus in this? Well, globally, we're right about here. We're right about here on the curve. Right, we're still a little bit of pioneering in the U.S., and we're in pioneering in every country we're in for the most part. We, there's a couple countries we've reached maybe the beginning of the early adapter phase. But we are early in our growth curve. We are in a unique situation, as I'll talk about in the company segment. But you sit right here. This is being able to buy a McDonald's back in the 60s for $1,000. This is being able to buy IBM stock 50 years ago for 2 bucks. That's what you have. Now, you, you can't just buy a product and it will happen, of course, you have to put in sweat equity. But it's pretty simple sweat equity. So, for once in your life, right now, maybe you've had it before, but I know you have it now, you've got perfect timing to participate in something.